I took one more step and they take off and then inside this thing of this line of bushes and trees like 20 more deer all with them yeah. so there were like 22 deer <laughs> and I didn't even see the other ones I had only seen those two so once I saw that you take off Welcome back to Keeping It One Hondo. Uh, we have a very special guest today, uh, Ricky Melendez. I hope I didn't screw up your last oh, name. Oh no, you got it right. <laughs> uh, if you don't know Ricky, he is a photographer. He is in Arizona, right? Yeah, Arizona. You, you used to live in Douglas, huh? I used to. I graduated here 2016. Then oh, I'm in Tucson now. Really? So, yep. And you came down for the weekend? Came down for the weekend, yeah, to... Uh, you know, visit family. I'm always visiting my family, making sure, checking up on them, make sure they're okay, and always chasing storms because it rains down here more yeah. than it does up in Tucson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I love your photos. Like, Thank you. They're Thank you. they're crazy, man. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you, how do you get into photography? Um. Uh, so I actually got into it like back in my freshman sophomore year but when i first got into it i was only taking pictures of lightning and on a cell phone not even i didn't even have a digital camera back then because uh -huh. you know i you know i would i had money but not enough to i could actually buy a camera so i just i had an android back then actually so my photos were like i had to like record a video and then pause like freeze frame mm -hmm. whatever and that's how yeah. i got my photos back then but now that I'm in the military and I work at the Boneyard in Tucson, I saved up money, bought a bunch of camera equipment, and now I'm taking photos of who knows everything in between uh, from um, lightning, nature, all my mm -hmm. sports photography. So it's been quite the journey. All right, so you're in the military, huh? Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Yep, Air National Guard. Air National Guard. Yep. When did you join, right, like, uh, right after high school? It took me two years, yeah. I was stuck here in Douglas for two years trying to look for work here and... It was hard, and then um, my active duty recruiter that I was talking to, I, he kind of gave up on me and just never messaged me again, emailed me. So then I forgot I had gone to an air show in mm -hmm. Tucson, and I forgot I had a, a card from the uh, guard recruiter. So I called them up, and they took me in right away, and that's how I ended up in the guard. Mm, okay, so, you know, you take pictures uh, in the military. Did you, was that like a transition, or... Mm -hmm. Well, I don't necessarily take pictures in the military. I mean, yeah, I do like a lot of um, plane spotting. I'm a plane spotter, so I take uh -huh. pictures of all kinds of aircraft. They you know, military, civilian planes. I mean, I've loved planes since I was a kid, so. Uh -huh. And everybody knows that. <laughs> yeah. Every time, like, I've gone, like, when I was back in high school and cross country, and we'd be at some meet and who knows what high school, and I see, like, a few planes flying, and I'm like, oh, that's an A 10 or that's an F 16. <laughs> and they're like, how do you know that? And I'm just like, I do my uh, research. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's kind of a like like a really cool flex, just to identify a plane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just like, yeah, I know that plane. Like, how do you know? I just, I just, yeah, I, just, I, just, just know. I just know. I just know that guy. Yeah, it's funny too, cause like some of my coworkers that I work with at the guard, um, they think they say I know so much about planes, and they're just uh -huh. like, "Are you like a Russian spy or something?" I'm like, "No." <laughs> like, if anything, I think some of my other plane spotting people I know are because they literally know like the tail numbers of like. Every, almost every single plane that's in, in operation with the military and i'm just like that's a little suspicious not gonna lie <laughs> that's, cool. like, that's a cool flex that's <laughs> yeah. a cool flex they're yeah. just like oh this like especially for planes that are going to the boneyard because that's where the they get sent when they get retired from service and mm -hmm. so they're just like oh this tail number of airplanes coming down this day and this time and i'm just like that's kind of suspicious but thanks for the info i guess yeah, <laughs> I was like, it's like I just know the name of the plane. Like, God dang it, guys! <laughs> uh, so I was kind of looking through your Instagram, yeah. and I noticed that you don't really have like a sub, like a main thing that you just take pictures of, because I see like a lot of other photographers, they take pictures of just specifically just yeah. nature, planes or cars yeah. or just like they just have one thing. And I just wanted to ask you, how come you you do everything? Which yeah. like there, it's amazing. But I just wanted to ask like. Like, how come you do that instead of doing just one thing? Honestly, it's just, I'm too lazy to make accounts for, like, all my separate stuff. <laughs> so I just put it all into one. So, like, only thing I have separate is my aviation account. Mm -hmm. So that one I have yeah, separate. I mean, yeah, but still. I forgot to close the door. Yeah. I still, uh, 
post some airplane stuff on my main account, but then I might other account which is like all military aircraft and civilian aircraft and just some cool planes that I get to see that like the other day I caught a 747 which is this big plane and it's mm -hmm. um it was um from the Netherlands is where it oh, came from shit. yeah and I was like of all the places I didn't ever thought it would go to Tucson but so there's a place another kind of like the boneyard way out further outside of Tucson called Pinal Air Park and that's for where um commercial airplanes are stored and um, either they get maintained or they just get um, scrapped, which is mm. uh, sad. I hate to yeah. see them get <laughs> broken up and destroyed, but um, that's so they have to stop at Tucson Airport first because they have to go through customs, make sure they didn't bring nothing from overseas. Yeah. And then they get sent there. Mm. And that, I have a cool. yeah, and I have a lot of like plane spotters in Phoenix. Like, oh, Tucson Airport's so boring. And I'm like, so boring, huh? I was like, how about this plane I just caught? <laughs> and they get all jealous and they get all pissed off and they're like, what the hell? And I'm just like, oh, I was like, suck it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's really cool. That's mm -hmm. that's crazy. I didn't. I was just wondering. I've always wondered, like, how come you just didn't like? I mm -hmm. always wondered that, you know. And you also take pictures of uh, the high school sports. Mm -hmm. uh, which is your favorite first? Which is like your favorite to take pictures of? I mean, honestly, I don't really have a favorite. I mean, I just like taking pictures in general. I mean, I had first started off with the cross country team because I did cross country in high school. Was that the only sport you did? No, or? I did cross country and track. That's all I did. Uh, I mean, people wanted me to do basketball. People wanted me to do soccer, but I hate to say it, but they kind of had their like favorite players. So they always chose the same people. Mm, so yeah, I'm just like, what? Yeah. what's the use of even trying out? So I was like, so during winter sports, I would just be at the track. I would be the only one on the track running by myself, just getting ready, because I did distance. I did the um, 4x8, the 1600, the 3200, and the 4x4. Four four. Mm. Well, the coaches made me do 4x4, four four, yeah. and I hated my life because yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so I just started with cross country, and um, then from there I saw, I um, that's when I think Sammy started following me, because... She did the sports photography, mm -hmm. and I really like her photos. They they're super good, and mm -hmm. so then I was just like, what if I just start doing going to other sporting events too, and um, getting to do their photos too. So I got to doing that, and then that's when people, I guess, start, started like seeing their pictures on my Instagram, and they're just like, first of all, who the heck is this mystery guy? And I'm just like, <laughs> now you know, you know, you see my face. Like yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, here, here I am. Yeah, I you had know. no idea what you look like before you came here. Yeah, <laughs> no. everyone's probably just like, "Who is this guy?" He's probably all scary. It's like, I mean, it's like I may look like I'm mad all the time when people first see me, but I'm a nice guy. If you come up to me, say hi. I'm not. I'm super nice. Mm -hmm. no, unless yeah, unless people nice decide to, you know, be an asshole, then yeah. I'm gonna be one back. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. But I'm not, yeah. yeah, because I remember <laughs> after. Oh, I don't remember when I started seeing your pictures. It was like, uh, when did you start taking pictures of like all the sports? It was last year. Yeah. Last year, yeah, okay, yeah, last year. Yeah. I started to see pictures of like other sports, and I was like, this dude's like, damn, these are good pictures. And then <laughs> I remember senior year, uh, I would just like after every game, I would always like, all right, did he post yet? Like I was, because I would yeah. be like, am I in there or something? Or I would just look through the drive mm -hmm. and just. I'd always see my picture, like, picture of, like, me and Al. Yeah, yeah I remember you. Man. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like, it would be, like, 90 yeah. pictures, and I'd find one of me, and I'm like, <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, like, I'm right there. There's I'm right there. there. <laughs> you got me. Yeah, I remember you took our, our track pictures. That, yeah. was, that was really cool, because it was, like, individual, like, each of us, like, the uh, throwers. Yeah. That, that was Because really when cool. I, yeah. I had started track last year, was it last year or the year before? No, it was last year, and... I only had gone to the Bisbee and bike that season, and those photos were, I think they were all right, but then I got a little better, I think I got a little better this year when I went to the meets, and the last meet I went to meet to you guys, I saw it ended early, and I'm just like, wait, why is everybody packing? And you're like, oh, we're already done. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, dang. I was like, well, that was fast. Okay, cool. Was this the latest one? Yeah, the, it was at Catalina. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we used to be in track. Yeah. It, yeah, it didn't go so well <laughs> yeah. that's that's how i'm gonna leave it yeah. track, track was fun for me in high school i mean mm -hmm. but honestly i love cross country more because i kind of felt like we were more of a family because in track you know you have so many different events and like at least back when i was in high school i felt like everyone had their own little cliques and whatever and 
I was always cheering everybody on and telling them good job and everything, you know, because that's the guy it was. Yeah. I was always motivating my teammates. I always, you know, yeah. let them know, you know, good job or, you know, if some of my teammates were feeling bad because they did bad one day, I'm like, hey, look, um, it's just one meet. You still have plenty more meets to go that you can um, get a PR or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, so. Did you ever make it to state in, tr- in cross country? Or cross country, tra- all four years. Oh, damn. All four years. Wow. All four years. Yep. Yeah. That's but crazy. They, um, track I never did. My senior year, I was like a few seconds off because I know in, I don't know if it's the same way for the third, for the two mile, for the 3200, but you have to get the top 25 best times in your division to qualify. Mm-hmm. And at, I had read a 10, thir- no, 1037, I think. But my best was a 1024 that season. Then that was my mm-hmm. fastest ever two mile. And so I was in the list after I had ran my last chance meet that my senior year. But then later on that night when we got home, I checked the list again, and two guys knocked me off by a few seconds. And oh, hell I, was like, I, was like, I was like 26, 27. I was like, you got to be shitting me. Yeah. I was devastated. Oh. But cross country, yeah. I mean, the head coach for cross country, I'm Coach Franco. I actually ran with her. She was a senior when I was a freshman. Oh, wow. So, oh, wow. Yeah, she was the assistant coach last year, but she just got the job this year for head coach. So I'm super excited to see what she's going to do with the team. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, I know three of the runners. Um, mm-hmm. I can't. It's my says Caleb, and Anna. I know all three of them. Yeah, uh, them yeah, 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 yeah. So you're going to con- continue to, like, take pictures for everyone else? Oh, yeah, for everyone else. And, I mean, hopefully this time, because last year I only did football and um, cross country. I didn't even go to swim. I didn't go to golf. I didn't go to... Uh, volleyball so they're probably just like hey what the hell man why didn't you go to our sports yeah. so, and i'm like okay i'm freaking sorry that's right you do pictures of us <laughs> it's like sorry guys <laughs> favoritism yeah it, oh geez don't even remind me of that one of my coworkers, <laughs> one of my coworkers got pissed off at me going changing the subject but um because we had some promotions this past drill weekend at the guard and mm-hmm. hers was in the morning and then we had like two other ones later on in the day and well, I was going to take pictures of hers and mm-hmm. all the batteries for my camera, all dead. So I had to charge them there at work. And then, so they charged by the, the ones later on in the day. So I was taking pictures there. As soon as the ceremony is over, she yeah. comes straight up to me and says, why didn't you take pictures of um, my promotion? I told her, and she's like, oh, it's favoritism. I'm just like, and I should, and I told one of my other coworkers, like, I should have told her, like, so what if it was? <laughs> but I was like, no, I don't, I don't want to piss nobody off. Yeah. Even yeah, though sometimes yeah, yeah. they deserve it. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I forgot what I was gonna ask. Oh no. Oh, you had a question, I remember. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, you, you said that you were in the National Guard, right? Yeah, National Guard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what made you want to trans trans transition like that? Like you started with the photography and then you went into the military. Uh, well, I mean, military. I mean, I've been um into like so my thing for the military is all with my love for. Um, aviation is what start wanted me to get into um, the oh, military, I so I wanted to be closer to fighter jets and stuff, and you know the sound of freedom and everything. Yeah. <laughs> and like I love hearing those loud jets just taking off and everything, and mm-hmm. going to air shows and stuff. And um, I say I was supposed to do active duty, but my uh, recruiter he kind of flaked on me and just said, "Well, I'm done with you," and nah, yeah. he sucked at his job. Yeah. And <laughs> so, but the guard they said. Because my active duty recruiter said that I was supposed to pass a practice test yeah. before taking the actual ASVAB test. And the guard, they said, screw that. You know, we're going to have you go straight to going into the actual test. And I'm like, oh, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so I got there. I mean, I'm still, so I have that. And then I'm doing photography on the side. And then I work at the Boneyard mm-hmm. at Davis Monkton. So that mm-hmm. place is so cool. Just all those military planes. Yeah, and- my dad... He used to do, because he does concrete and construction. Yeah. And so he used to go there a lot, and he would be like, oh, yeah. crazy. Like, if you used to just step one, like, if you step over this one line, they'll shoot you. It's crazy. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. There's probably some <laughs> snipers hiding out there, and as soon as you step over, boom, shot in the head or uh-huh. something. Yeah, it's it's crazy, yeah. dude. It's, it's insane there. So that's where you work? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. The, bon- the boneyard is, for people don't know, it's, a, it's basically... Like a cemetery for jets and mm-hmm. planes yep. that were used in wars. Yep, and it's not only a cemetery either, actually. So um, some of those planes can actually, um, they can still bring back to life. So they can, oh. um, 
I'm trying to think the word. I guess just yeah, just bring them back bring to them life. Back to life um, yeah, resurrect. Resurrect, yeah. yeah. So resurrect them, and there's actually one bomber that just got put into storage. Um, I want to say or late last year that they're already bringing back because I guess the Air Force oh, needs sure. to bring one more back into service. So I'm like, that's mm -hmm. cool. And so I work the hazmat section and all the hazardous stuff that they got to use to take off that white stuff that they put on the plane. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the one that's going to be giving it oh. out, issuing yeah. it to them. And like, here you guys go, do the job. Like, do the job, yeah. so <laughs> I have like a good part in what they do. And then that white stuff that's on the plane. So it's called spray lat. So it's like a paint laxatives team that they use so that they cover the windows they cover the engine stuff and all their other stuff so nothing on the plane gets ruined mm -hmm. and another thing is um for the, the planes that are still in service they can always order parts from amarg and so if they need to pull a pull apart from amarg um they'll be like okay we'll pull it off of this um tail numbered aircraft so the guys that work in another shop will go out to the jet and take it off and of course, since it's Air Force, they have to go by like a regulation on how to properly remove the part and sh ship it and everything. Mm. So everyone, and I know I've seen like reels on Instagram about the Boneyard and I go to the comments and I see those people that are like, oh, um, a Mark's a waste of money, blah, 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 all the planes, send them to the Ukraine. I'm just like, we're not going to get involved in the Ukraine. Like, calm down. Yeah, I swear, Instagram reels, like the comment sections. Instagram reels are crazy. Dude, the comment sections, I hate the comment yeah, sections. I like, I'll see like some funny video and then I go into the comment section and then like just so, at least one person is mad about yeah, the video. Mm -hmm. Just and salty. It, I, I, I hate it. I hate it's it like so every much. Every single time. Yeah. Every time, dude. Like, the, the videos are interesting, but it's just like, just calm down. <laughs> and yeah, I see those people that come comment and they're like, and someone else has to comment on their comment, like, well, why did you say so? How about you just don't watch the reel? And I'm like, see, exactly. They have to, I was like, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Like, man. Yeah. So, when did you buy your first camera? Mm, honestly, it was like four or five, maybe six years ago. I had a Nikon, and it took pretty all right photos. And I mean, back then, I used to never even edit my photos. And mm. that, that was the same year that I got into plane spotting and stuff. And that's when I ran into this one guy. His name is Charlie. He's from Tucson. But mm -hmm. at first, he was cool and stuff. I was in two group chats with him. And um, I used to send him my photos for him to edit, and I guess he wanted me to post the edited photos, but since it's my account, I always posted just the raw image. Just the raw I image. I never uh -huh. cared back then, and at one point, he just got pissed off, and he literally kicked me out of the group chat just because <laughs> I posted my photo <laughs> compared to his. And I'm just like, well, guess what? I don't need your negativity, and I blocked his ass. <laughs> and I'm just like, no, dude, like... And to this day, I still find out that he still talks stuff, uh, shit about me. And I'm just like, Damn. oh, I was like, how, that's like, I guess, how sweet of him that I'm still in his thoughts. <laughs> yeah. You're living rent free in that yeah, dude's head. Literally. You, you, your photo is probably better anyway. Yeah. I mean, his photos are good. I'm going to give him that. I'm not going to shit on his photos because mm -hmm. he takes really good photos too. But just the way he acted about, you know, just the way I started my plane spotting stuff, mm -hmm. kind of childish. Yeah, and by yeah. Kind of, I mean super challenged. So. Yeah, not right, Charlie. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like I said, you know, he he's doing his own thing now. I'm just, I'm not even gonna. Yeah. I I blocked him. I don't even worry about him no more. There's still a bunch of other asshole spotters that I've run into, and they like to, they always like to um talk shit, especially to people that are brand brand new. Especially mm. like kids and stuff. Like, damn. Some of, like, fuck? literally, some of their. <laughs> literally, like, there's like one kid that's like 13 years old, and yeah, his photos are, you know, they could be better, but he's just a kid. Like, he's barely brand new. He's gonna <laughs> learn. talking shit. Like, what the that's, fuck? And that's literally how I started, too. Like, I started with kind of bad photos, but now they're, they're getting better and better as I progress. And, yeah. like, photography, whatever. Like, I self taught myself everything that I know. And oh, really? I had gone, yeah, I had talked to Bruce Wetton the other day from the Douglas Dispatch, and he had even asked me, like, did I go to college for photography? I'm like, no, everything, self-taught, wow. YouTube videos, everything. Yeah. So, really? and then I get advice and stuff from, like, other photographers I follow on Instagram. Mm -hmm. 
I want to see what's your end goal like for photography like what's would you want to get a job like for working for like a major company like mm. like the discovery or something or like yeah do you want to get like like really big or do you just want to stay just like as your own like yeah someone, like i think i'm doing my own thing i'm just gonna try and start my own um, company or company um business and um i mean my manager's wife is supposed to make me a website i think by this month or next month so i have my own website and I'll start doing like family portraits and like all the other stuff and I mean I haven't I've done a little bit of them here and there but mm -hmm. um, I kind of feel like uh, I'm not gonna be getting a lot of business yet because people they don't they see that I don't have a website I and I hardly do those photos so they're probably think like I feel like they think I'm some kind of joke or something and I'm mm -hmm. like that's okay though so because once I have my website once I get my own LLC and everything then I'm uh, pretty sure, you know, more people will want photos taken. And I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I will be taking photos for a wedding, my first wedding in October. So I'm oh, looking forward to that. That's cool. You know, that's cool. I, I mean, that's a lot of pressure, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, they just want photos, though. Because they, um, they would ask for a video. I'm like, oof, don't, I'm, I'm out of the job. But yeah. Do you imagine a proposal like you would have to get no, all oh, that? Man. That's probably you even like more oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. You get all the good lighting, the angles, everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's crazy. So you're doing your father, your first wedding. First wedding. Yeah. That's really good. Right. So, he's having his own company. Yeah. <laughs> Call him or whatever. <laughs> Message me. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, you don't do you don't really do that many photo shoots like of people. Or, I mean, I do some you here do some. and there. Because like, I saw you did one of uh, someone we know in, oh, in basketball, yeah. Frank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I had two it just other, came out really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I had two other seniors that had messaged me, but then later on I saw they got with somebody else, another photographer. I'm like, well, thanks for letting me know. Like, it would be, <laughs> it would be nice. Like, not going to lie, it would be nice for them to be like, oh, I'm sorry, but, you know, we went with somebody else, and I hope, and I would have been okay with that, you know, uh -huh. but the fact that they didn't even tell me. Kinda, yeah, that's kind of messed up. Kind of messed up. up. They didn't like, say like anything. Oh, I mean, they had told me like how much I charge. I told them how much I charge, and then they said that they'll let me know. And then like later on, I just thought never. They yeah, they never, never. And I'm just like, dang. Like, but I mean, I know more people that's graduating this upcoming school year than last year, anyways. So yeah. hopefully. You know. So hopefully, yeah. Uh, I want to ask this question: What has been like the most like? awkward like photo shoot like you've been in like it's situation Ooh. like or even taking pictures of like anything like what has been just the most like there was this get me out of the social there was this, um, mom and dad or not mom and dad uh mom and um daughter that i took photos of last year i'm not gonna mention names because mm -hmm. they're probably gonna see this but uh, <laughs> um i was taking pictures of them around um christmas time and you know like i got photos with them together but they weren't like close close and like i kind of want to tell them like get closer like you guys are freaking um <laughs> you guys mother are family daughter, like you should be family and be closer and like mm. you know but i mean they were cool people too but like just the, i was like i'm just like ah. i'm not gonna lie those photos i kind of just rushed too i felt like i was being rushed so mm -hmm. ah, yeah they came oh, out kind of could have been better could have so. been better but mm. okay that's it's whatever it's like, <laughs> it's, it's like christmas last year's already passed yeah christmas last year and just thinking year. that christmas is already coming up again i'm like oh shit oh, um, have you had anyone else like reach out to you about like doing other photo mm, shoots actually in the um coach um mora basketball had wants me to take uh, some coaching photos of him he had yeah. messaged me and i told him yeah i'll do them mm -hmm. that'll be cool let's do some professional shots of him coaching so, I mean, that's not so basketball season, but I'll be yeah. ready for that. That sounds really cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Do you have any other big events coming up besides the, the wedding? Mm -hmm. Other than that, just all the sports coming up again, especially the pit. That one I've been looking forward to. I missed it last year because oh. the, um, the day they had it, I had my weekend drill the next morning. So no. I wasn't able to make it, but I was watching the game live the entire game and i was at the edge of my seat the entire time yeah. it was so close <laughs> it was so close i'm I just remember, like oh, yeah. God. We were, i was there i was like no way we're gonna lose yeah, yeah. I like i thought i was like busy running down the like they're going down the field and i'm just like son of a bitch they're gonna score and <laughs> Douglas stopped them and i'm like yes 
<laughs> no, yeah. Uh, oh my god, I had a question. Now I just like I just lost it. <laughs> oh no. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, so is that like that's what you're looking forward to the pick game? The pick game is gonna be yeah, fun. I guess your um. I'm, it's gonna be here. I, I don't it's, gonna be, it's gonna be. Here. It's gonna be crazy here. And uh, I don't think I should be saying this, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Um, they're actually renaming the football field. Where? Oh, yeah. yeah so the, it's not yeah, during the game. Here? Yeah, here. Oh, the renaming game? Yeah, I talked to Bruce and he told me that there's a whole um family. I forgot the name of the family, but I guess they there was a teacher from years ago. I think back when my parents were in high school. I guess, Ooh. I don't know if they, he passed away or she, I don't know if it's he, she, whatever. But like the Kleck, Kleck fan, or I guess that was his name or her name. Mm-hmm. A bunch of our parents and probably people older might know him or her. So it's going to be like a big ceremony. Ceremony kind of... during halftime. Yeah. So you know, his, you, you know the new name? Um, I don't actually. Mm-hmm. He even said they're renaming the field and that there'll be good photos to get. And I'm just like, oh heck yeah. Ooh. And I guess one of the family members is supposed to like walk onto the field with, um, with the coin and the ball during the coin toss and stuff too. Ah, the pick. That's a good. Yeah. That's a good way to do it. Mm-hmm. It's like the Super Bowl here. Yeah, right? hell yeah. That just had to happen right whenever we graduated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know, right? Dude. Oh, yeah. Every, so yes, many things yeah. happen. Like I'm, they're building that new build, like new that building. new building. Yeah. yeah. And then, oh, and then they're making like a new football field back there or something. Yeah, and um, I my mom told me about the construction guys, um, building the new buildings. That I guess they're like super behind because. Once they were done with this, they're supposed to start working on the new port of entry that they're going to make. Because, yeah, because I know that the advisor, Mm -hmm. the supervisor there, um, he passed away. Oh. Yeah, it was really sad. Because it was crazy, too, because do you know about the DHSN at at the high school? I think so, yeah. Yeah, because we interviewed him in that, and. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was crazy. He was like a super healthy guy. Mm-hmm. He was from like Oregon or something. Oh. And then he passed away. It was sad, man. Yeah. I'm sad thinking about it now. <laughs> I know. I'm just like sad times. Yeah, sad. Um, so the pick. Yeah, I'm excited for the pick. I think we might do like like a special podcast in the pick. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it, I'm not going to give too much detail of it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just hoping that I could get onto the field, because usually I'm in the stands. Yeah. Only time, only like, reason... Because I, I, cause I remember I trying to, like, I took pictures uh-huh. whenever I was injured, yeah. and they would always, like, yell at me, like, get off the field, you're on the field. <laughs> just, it like, was just like, I'm sorry, I didn't what? know. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, um, I got lucky to be on the field, um, when I came to two of the home games last year, but only because um, my tia, um, Gloria Melendez, she's one of the security here at the high school. Really? Yeah, she's, she's your tia? Like, yeah. yeah. She's the oh. one that got me on the field. She's like, oh, yeah. can you be on the field? And they're like, oh, yeah, <laughs> come on. And, That's awesome. Well, the That's athletic crazy. director, I actually met the new one. Um, I mm. actually met him for the first cross-country meet that I went to last year. Mm. And, well, he already knew who I was, too, the games that I came to down here in Douglas. And so he's like, oh, yeah, sure. And he let me on to so the field, er- so. Everyone knows you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and crazy. that was, I think, the last home game that I came to here. Or not the last one. The one before that one. It was against Empire, I think. Um, Bruce wasn't even there at the game. I was looking for him because, you know, he's the one that takes the photos, mm-hmm. puts them in the dispatch. And then I just look at the athletic director and the principal, and I'm like, well, I guess you guys can use my photos then, and to our uh, whatever. So, that's yeah. really cool. So they're on the news, on the news, on the newspaper, basically. Uh, I wish, but no. Oh. So, um. Yeah, because I I saw you posted earlier too on your story that your photo was yeah, in the calendar. There was a calendar that came out earlier this year because they had a competition last year, um, called Best of Preps part of the service the herald and um you get to submit photos of either um nature um scenic and i can't remember the other t- um subjects they could put in i submitted so many photos i literally spammed them <laughs> at this point and i said you better post at least one or two and mm-hmm. when the calendar came out my mom told me that they got like five six free calendars just for two of my photos coming out mm. and they were both nature ones so i'm not gonna be mad at least, had, he, at least he got in there. At yeah, least he got, got in, in there. there. But there was one guy that had like six of his photos came out, and I'm like, damn, yeah, damn. definitely paper and skin, though. I'm like, God damn. What a big jump. I know, like six of them. I'm like, this son of a bitch. Six? That's like, that's like half the year. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? God damn. You know, and then I had this one girl, I forgot her name, but um, she even told me that she submitted some photos, but that none of them made it. I'm like, hey, don't give up. on. And I know they're probably going to have the competition again, you know. 
Just mm-hmm. keep taking photos and keep submitting, and I'm pretty sure eventually you'll get some photos in. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I'm always motivated photographers because, like, I just like the fact that we all get a camera, we all to just take love pictures. to take pictures. Yeah, you know? uh-huh. yeah so. I, I remember, but no, uh, never mind, I'll, I'll go into this question later, but, so... I always see you post, like, uh, on your story of a lot of, like, you chasing storms. Mm-hmm. Like, where did, like, where did that love come from? Of you just trying to take, like, a picture of lightning yeah. and stuff like that? I mean, I've always loved lightning storms. I mean, of course, when I was a kid, I used to be terrified of them. Like, yeah. I'd <laughs> literally hide under my blankets thinking, like, the lightning's gonna hit me or something. Like, yeah. It was the funniest shit ever. And, like, the, those loud clap of thunders randomly just boom. And I'm mm. like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> have, have you ever gotten a picture of lightning, like, super up close to you? Oh, like that? I wish, but no. I think the closest strike I've gotten on camera is like I want to say a mile away from where I was standing Damn. and it was still loud like it was yeah. like a mile like I just saw it hit and then it just boom and I'm like oh yeah I was like that's what I'm talking about <laughs> I almost died I almost died but it was, it was worth it, it. <laughs> like literally too because I grabbed my camera because I have it on the tripod and, <laughs> and, 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 it, just and, and I just like I got it and I'm like so I stayed for like a few more shots got a few more shots and then okay it's getting too close I'm out. <laughs> that's good enough that's good enough <laughs> sooner or later Zeus is gonna be like screw the sky wait a moment yeah, how hard is it to take pictures of lightning? Because like you know, it happens like. Yeah, it, it's kind of hard, but like I have a tripod, and then I have this like little trigger thing that I put on top of the camera, that um, it's used for lightning. So like I have an app on my phone, so instead of me having to click the shutter button, I just click a play button on my um the app, and I put the my shutter speed like super low and everything and. That's how I, I get lucky. If I get lucky, some shots either come in frame or some I've gone out of frame and I'm mm-hmm. just like, you gotta be fucking shitting me. Like, I was like, I need you right in the middle of the fucking frame, god uh-huh. damn it. <laughs> and then the next one just went right smack in the middle or some on the sides. Like, the ones on the sides, I don't care. At least, at least I got it in frame. Mm-hmm. But the ones in the middle, I'm just like, fuck yes, let's go. <laughs> I'm mean, like, hella hype. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just funny that you're just there it's just like the lightning's yeah. almost striking mm-hmm. you're just like all right time to go <laughs> that's right too because like all the other um lightning photographers i i talk to and follow they tell me that they go away from the stars and i'm like shit i guess i'm i guess i'm the only crazy one that goes it in, directly into the stars so i'm like god damn I was like, I must be living living life dangerous. Mm. <laughs> Do you want an episode of Storm Chasers? <laughs> yeah, but at this point, might as well. And then <laughs> what's another well. thing I had told my parents the other day? I was like, I, I take pictures of so much wildlife, and I see so much that I should just start my own National Geographic thing <laughs> at this point. That would be cool. <laughs> that would be sick, dude. Uh, I, so, with wildlife, um, has there any been like any like crazy, like, it, like with an animal like it notices you or something <laughs> no actually not really thankfully no. i mean i got up close to a, a western diamondback rattlesnake one time i was with my mom oh, and he, he he hate he hates snakes nah, yeah yeah i i literally just saw like i went walking with my mom up to um d hill we're on geronimo trail and i told her like watch out for snakes and look in the dirt because they like to blend in with the dirt and next thing you know, we passed um, right by that little dirt road that goes to the uh, little RC airfield. And uh-huh. right there on the main street, a Western Diamondback, maybe like this long. Yeah, that was so... I, I, yeah. ran, I ran into that same snake. Not that very same snake, but like that same type of snake like years ago. Mm-hmm. It was at like some like tree farm. Oh. Right? And like it was like... It, I was like walking yeah. and there was a bush there. It was under it. And I just hear it, and then it rattled, and, like, it slithers fast. Like, it slithered <laughs> like, it, it super fast away from me, but I saw it before, and it was, it was horrible. Young Ian didn't know what was going to come to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my mom, uh, though, like, as, as, like I, start, I start going up to the snake. Like, I didn't care. I had my camera with me and everything. And, of course, I had my big lens on, so I didn't have to get too close mm-hmm. to it. And I was, like, close, but not too close. And my mom's already yelling at me, like, get away from me and stuff. And <laughs> I'm just like, I was like, and I... Like at first, like, yeah, at first I thought it was dead at, at first, but like I got a rock and I threw it at it and it it touched like the back part of the snake and I saw it barely move. I'm like, oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> but he never like got startled by me. He never rattled, rattled nothing. It just stayed completely still. I'm just like, 
See, I'm not a threat. <laughs> now, if I poked it with a stick, then. No, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, so, has that been like your most, like. What's been like your most, like. How would you say, like, heart racing, like. Mm. Trying to get a picture. Like, it could be of anything, but, like. Yeah, what has been like your most, like. I think the Holy heart- shit! But I got the picture. <laughs> I think it's usually out with um deer because like sometimes they're like hiding. Deer, from, really? Yeah, deer because um they're like hiding sometimes behind branches and I'm just here like God damn this branch is in the way and <laughs> somehow there's some pictures that I got that somehow I managed to get the branch out out of the image and just got the shot of the deer and I'm just like how the hell did I even do that? But there was one yeah. time that I got a. I went to Rucker with my parents, and I ended up getting a buck and a doe together in mm. the same image. And I thought those were the only two deer there, so I'm trying to slowly walk up to them to, like, not scare them. I took one more step, and they take off, and then inside this thing of this line of bushes and trees, like, 20 more deer, all with them. So there were, like, 22 deer. <laughs> and I didn't even see the other ones. I had only seen those two. So once I saw they take off, I saw the rest of the 20. And I'm like, just like, what the? Where did they come from? They got, like, a whole army there. Yeah, they had no army. I'm like, what the hell? And you better like, hit the gold mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hit the gold mine. Like, oh, yeah. What, Man. What's one animal that you want to take a picture of, but, like, you haven't yet? A bear or a mountain lion is what I've been I had a feeling you were going to say bear. Yeah. Because, like, yeah. I, I always, um, I follow the uh, Forest Service pages on Facebook, and they have mm-hmm. those, like, wildlife cameras set up all around the forest. And there's some they set up where there's, like, water. And, like, I see the videos at night where the bears come out and they start drinking water. Mountain lion, like, ginormous freaking mountain <laughs> lion. And I'm like, god damn, like, oof. Imagine <laughs> running into one of those, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I was remember remember that remember when we thought that snake was chasing us. Oh yeah, at Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> that was. Horrible. I swear. Okay, so <laughs> us and a bunch of friends we were going out to hang out. Yeah. And it was when we didn't have a car, and oh, so we're yeah. so walk everywhere. three of us were on the side like of the Walmart, mm-hmm. and then like two other were on the the other side, and so we were just walking right, and then all of a sudden. You just hear this loud ass, like... Oh. Yeah, it's a super loud hiss. <laughs> and then it yeah. gets louder, and we all go like, what the fuck? Yeah. And, and then the, we the... start sprinting back, <laughs> mm-hmm. and then we hear it, like, yeah. following it us. It felt like it was following well, us. It well, was scary. As we kept running, it, it sounded like it was, like, right behind us. Yeah, and yeah. the three of us that were on the road, we were we already away of... from Walmart. Oh, but then we off. ran back. Back to Walmart. <laughs> And then the other two were like, what the fuck? Like, what's going on? Yeah, they were confused because they were on the other <laughs> side of the road. <laughs> so then they went to go investigate. And yeah. then they're saying, it's just this hose right here. But no, we're like, no, it was not. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Still to this day, it had to be a snake. It had to be a snake. There was no way. That was chasing us. There was yeah. something that was chasing us. No way a hose just like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like follows there, us. there was a hose over there, but it wasn't making that same noise no, that we it heard. Wasn't, it was quiet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's no way there was a snake. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be. know what kind of snake it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, just like, <laughs> it was terrifying, dude. Because it was like the more we ran, the louder it got, and that's oh, scary. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, I think everything's fine. It just yeah. gets louder. Fuck. <laughs> 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 it's like we're alive. <laughs> Yeah, it's insane how we ran to it all the way back to Walmart because we were already walking away. Yeah. <laughs> we ran quick. You're just like no, yeah. no, no. It's mm-hmm. like hey, look, I'm Usain Bolt now. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it's always the moments you're running away from terror or something that you become a track star. It's <laughs> just like yeah, it's like new hundred meter dash record. Uh, so I have this question. Um, so. I'm gonna explain a little bit the backstory to it. So, so I went to the New York Times mm-hmm. for photojournalism, and while we're, I was there, I met. They had a guest speaker for our class, and his name was Marcus Yam, and he does war pictures. Oh. He takes pictures of war and amazing photo. He's like a pull. What's it called? Pulitzer Prize winning. Yeah. Fulton Prize winning mm-hmm. for, for mm-hmm. amazing pictures. And I want I was I wanna ask you if you would ever do that. If you would ever take pictures of war, would you ever consider it? And because you're also in the military too. Yeah, I mean, would would you ever consider taking pictures of war or I something like I that? I think I would. That would be something like 
I guess pretty cool to see, but like getting to know the backstories and like hearing um, stories from other soldiers and like people that have been in war, fought in war and stuff. And I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like terrifying too and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, there's people that have lost, lost their fellow brothers and sisters in combat. And mm -hmm. I mean, I still hear that from even some of Air Force guys I know. They said that they've lost um, friends or people that were other branches of the military and mm -hmm. they lost their lives in combat. And mm -hmm. you know, but. That would be actually kind of interesting, you know, I mean, yeah, you have to be in a place where you'll be safe, you won't get shot and everything, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, because I remember one story he told us that he was in, oh, I think, somewhere down south, like Brazil or something, and he wasn't put into the back of a truck because they were trying to move, oh, yeah. and the truck... It didn't have any air, like, mm. so they were just stuck in there for, like, seven hours or something Jeez. without no air. And it was, like, as soon as they got let out, people started throwing up. It was crazy. Oh, yes. And, like, the pictures he showed us, it was, like, it was crazy. So, so yeah, that's, I just want to ask that, like, if that was something you would ever, like, consider doing. Yeah, maybe later on, way down the road, once I'm, like, out of the military and all that, but. And right now, you know, I'm just good with sticking what I'm doing right now. <laughs> yeah, not so graphic. <laughs> yeah, not so graphic. I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so, like, uh, how, how long have you been in the military for? Uh, five years now. Five My reenlistment's already next year, and I'm just like, I had gone to basic training in 2018. So just how far was... the years just flew, I'm just like, oh, my God. <laughs> How was that like basic training? Cause I always hear like it's it's crazy oh. or something. Yeah. Air Force basic training. I'm gonna admit it because I know Marines always give a shit for it and every other branch. <laughs> Air Force basic training is stupid easy. Like oh, literally really? our our PT test compared to the Marines, Army, and everybody else. All we have to do is push up, sit ups, and a mile and a half run. That's it. Oh wow. That's it. That's literally it. <laughs> we and then well when I got in we get. Um, the body composition measuring what, what was also part of your score, which is where they measure your weights and all that crap. Mm -hmm. But they took that out. So and now um, they made some other s implements where if you don't want to do the run, you could do a shuttle run. If you don't want to do the uh, push-ups, you could do a three-minute plank. And if you want to do, I hate planks. Yeah, yeah I, 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 was, I was thinking of trying to do planks the, are plank, the worst thing in the world. But, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I was stick to the normal Air Force test. Uh huh. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's super easy, and I mean, uh, like you have to get used to like the military training instructors yelling at your face every, almost every morning, and mm -hmm. getting up super early. And first thing you do, you get up, you get changed. We go straight to on um, PT to working out, mm -hmm. and then from there you go to to um, breakfast at Chow Hall. Chow Hall, you can't even talk, at all. Like you have to just eat your shit and get outside and line up in your um, group or whatever. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, cause it's so weird because we've had guests on here that are gonna go into the military, and and we we even have a friend that's over there in the navy right now. Mm -hmm. Sorry, <laughs> and it's weird. It's crazy now that we have someone now that that's been through all oh, yeah. that's been through mm -hmm. all that. Yeah. Yeah, and like I got because I've seen videos on like the navy basic training, the Marines, Army, everything, and I look at them and I'm just like. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Like, and I mean, then the, the other branch, the other branches also like to give a shit too because Air Force, they they call us spoiled because we have the good food when it comes to like the chow hall and everything. And I'm mm -hmm. just like, sorry, but not sorry, <laughs> but because like man, our food when we when I was in basic training, that shit was bomb. Like, man, it's, I don't know what. That's the only reason why you would go back. <laughs> yeah, that, that would probably be the only reason. That and, um, yeah, I picked the right one. <laughs> Dad and um, we always used to have our base liberties, which is, well, those we earned them from our based on how we perform throughout basic training. Like you, we get our first one in week three, and our base liberty is um, you get to go out uh, around base and go eat whatever the hell you want, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And um, those were always fun, even. Mm -hmm. But most of the guys in my flight, I didn't really talk to because they were kind of idiots. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so when I graduated and I got my airman's coin and everything, I'm just like, I'm glad I'm getting the hell out of here. Yeah. And then um, I went straight to tech school for my job right after basic. And mm -hmm. I thought I was leaving on um, Lackland 
Because not going to lie, I hate Texas. Mm. Other than the river walk in San Antonio, which is really beautiful, but I hate it. I hated it. Like, it was so... I I guess I just... I wasn't used to Texas. I haven't yeah. been there that long, but I thought I was leaving the state to go to another one for my tech school. And they're like, oh, psych, you're just going across the street. And I'm like, <laughs> you got to be shitting me. <laughs> and then I was like, well, hopefully the people in my um, tech school class are better. Oh, uh-huh. my God. They were probably just as bad. And I'm just like, you got to be shitting me. <laughs> Uh, cause I remember I was in Texas, cause whenever I was coming back from New York, yeah. <clears throat> I was in Tex, cause I was like a stopping flight, mm-hmm. and I was in Dallas, and I remember I went into this one little store that was in the airport, and it was just Texas everything, mm-hmm. I've never been more amazed, I just wanted to buy everything in there, cause it was Perfect. like, this is Texas, I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I had gone to Salt Lake City earlier this year to go meet up with a friend, and same thing. I went to a little store, everything Utah. I'm just like, what the hell? And then one, well, my I, my sister, she wanted me to get her a bag, and so I got her one. And yeah, I was like, I was thinking just well, getting. Well, I think my like, recorded. No, yeah, I, I, I think I heard that. And we're back. And we're good. <laughs> and we're back. Only on ESPN. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I was looking at your phone case. Mm-hmm. Is that the Packers? Oh yeah, the Packers. I'm a Packers fan. You're a Packers fan. Yeah, mm-hmm. Jordan uh, Love. That's my guy. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers. That, that's son. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not bad though. You know, that's what he wanted. So you know, mm-hmm. I think he'll probably do good with the Jets. I mean, he's I think, got he's got I a think he'll do good. <laughs> Let's hope he does good. Or else yeah. he's gonna regret it. I mean, yeah. their defense is starting to step up. That he has some really good wide receivers and shit and. Of course, you had to take Randall Cobb and um, Alan Lazard from us, too. He literally took, like, a bunch of the players from the Packers from us. I'm like, you're fucking yeah. asshole. <laughs> and I'm like, God. And especially the one that pissed me off the most was um, Adrian Amos. Mm. That guy, he, he was one of our best, was he, like, a corner or something? I don't know what the hell he is. But, yeah. they, like, I was ready for him to start again for us. And then I, the next morning I wake up, Adrian Amos went to the gym. And I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Like, what the hell, Rod? Have you, oh, have you been like a Packers fan all your life? Or? All my life. Because I'm oh, a yeah. Glory, actually. Oh, ah. She's also a Packers fan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's a wild guess what, what we're fans of. Yeah. yeah. It's a wild <laughs> guess. Hmm. I think it's the Bears. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, my dad's actually a Bears fan, so... Oh, really? Of course. Uh, me and him oh, always butt heads and shit. Uh-huh. they're the biggest ri- well one of the oldest rivals in the NFL mm-hmm. so and th- coincidentally they play week one of the regular season ooh mm-hmm. that's so, a good one I was like Justin Fields and Jordan Love I'm like let's go <laughs> yeah no my little brother is he's a Chiefs fan oh, mm-hmm. he's a big oh, dude huge one of Chiefs huge fan. Chiefs fan <laughs> he even got his hair cut just to look like Mahomes, Mahomes yeah. uh huh and it, it's it's always a pain Whenever we play them, mm-hmm. cause like it's like, yeah. I know, I know you, I know you beat us, yeah. I know, and then we play them in the preseason, like next week or something. Oh, yeah. And yeah. just like, even though it's a preseason, he's still gonna, he's still gonna, he's still gonna be everything. like, ah, we beat you, and we'll be like, yeah, shut, sh- shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We did beat the uh, Broncos though. Yeah. So. We did beat the Broncos though. It was our yeah. third string. Yeah. Third string it's, and, and a lot of and potential the Broncos, right there. It was like their first string. Yeah. Yeah, I thought the Packers beat the shit out of the Bengals, and I'm just like, ha, Joe Burrow, you can suck. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't even think Joe Burrow played, though. I think it was their backup. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm excited for football season. Oh, yeah. yeah, me I'm too. I'm excited, dude. Mm-hmm. Please, please, for the love uh, of God. I've been, dis- I've been disappointed in the Cardinals for so long now. Yeah. <laughs> please. Then... Just want, just at least second round. I'll be happy <laughs> when we make it to second round playoffs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Second round, I'll be happy. Mm-hmm. Even if we get blown out, I don't. At least, <laughs> I'm just at to do least, something. At least second round, please. There hasn't been any season good ever since we went like like what like seven or nine and oh. Seven and oh. Oh, yeah. seven and, oh. and then was, uh, yeah, and then it was it was to the uh, Packers. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I'm never gonna forget that night. That was like the worst night of my yeah, life. And horrible. I was even. I was gonna go to that game too because I was here in Arizona. And Aww. I asked my tia if she wanted to go. She could have asked one of my other friends if he wanted to go because he's a Cardinals fan too. Uh-huh. And he couldn't go. So I was like, God damn. I was like, damn. I guess I'll just watch the game from Tucson. And when I saw um, who's who picked off Amari, um, it was at the end of the game, huh? Yeah, I forgot who picked him off, but like Adrian Green didn't. He, he didn't even turn know, around. All he had him. to do that was turn was, around. That was like, that's, that's like, like the a worst PTSD yeah, moment that's for me. Because like I remember watching that live, and I was just like, 
That, yeah. That's all I we was, needed to I win. Was, I, yeah, was in, to I was in, in disbelief. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was like, no. There's no way that just happened. Perfect too. It was perfect too. Perfect, perfect, perfect throw. Perfect throw. Yeah. And, then, and then Murray got here. injured after yeah. that. Yeah. And then he it just it, it it was it was sad. Yeah. It was sad, man. I'm. Yeah. That's, honestly, I missed that year because just just that yeah, just seven and all. I think I like college football more than the NFL. I don't know if anybody college else. Fo college, football college football is crazy. Yeah. Because yeah. I've been to U of A game. Yeah. I'm a Ducks fan, so. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and I went to see the Ducks last year in Tucson. Man, they beat the shit out of U of A. <laughs> Me seeing all the fans leaving early, and I'm just like, ah, you thought That's you were going to. That's tough. Gonna... <laughs> That's tough, isn't it? <laughs> and I was just like, you thought you were going to have us this year. <laughs> I forgot who we played. I think it was like Michigan. We lost, but like, yeah. <laughs> it was still crazy. It's crazy yeah. atmosphere just being like at a football game. It's oh, yeah. insane. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. yeah, I just found out, you know, Oregon and Washington moving to the Big Ten and all these conference Ooh. realignments. And I'm not really a fan of it. Like, just stay where the hell it's at the Pac 12, the Pac 12, Big Ten, mm -hmm. SEC. But I can't do nothing. I mean, the mm -hmm. Pac 12, it, I think the reason, well, no, the reason they're going down is because, like, the TV deals and stuff for for them to broadcast their games is kind of whack and yeah the the president or whoever the Pac-12 isn't really doing shit so that's why everybody's leaving there. Mm -hmm. It's just happy right now because football season's coming. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's everything's coming. gonna get so hyped. Soon. It's coming. Yeah. Even even just like. Oh, I'm just so hyped. Even like for even like the pick game, dude. I'm, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm just hyped. I'm just I just love football. Mm -hmm. I know. I just like. It sucks so, like, that I we can't. don't get to play anymore. Yeah. I know it sucks, but I can't imagine a better sport. Mm -hmm. Soccer, screw you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did soccer, but not in high school. I did it. In, I did the AYSO when I was younger, and I hated it. Uh, <laughs> like it was fun and stuff because you know I always ran around and huh? I, I always had the most endurance because of me. Oh, I, yeah, soccer is a lot of running. Yeah, like, he did, you did soccer for like eight years. Yeah, right? I did soccer uh, the very first eight years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then whenever I got to high school, I switched to football. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is so awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's just like, even when you're playing football, it's such like, man, I get to hit that guy. and I know. It's so well, it's like, just I get to hit him and like, it's legal. nothing can happen. Yeah. <laughs> and you just knock him on his feet. Just like, uh, your even like, even like watching football too, you get someone like, get like fucking knocked out. It's oh, like, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh, and it, oh no, I'm just right there. Like, I'm like, fuck you. That's <laughs> <laughs> that shit hypes me up. I don't know anyone else, but seeing good old get American football. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then the refs had to be a bunch of babies and throw a flag, and I'm like, are you fucking? Yeah. The like, refs hate man. us, man. The refs hate us. Too. Yeah, the refs are just like, screw this. We want to go home. Flag, mm -hmm. and I'm like, what the? <laughs> Did you end it off early? <laughs> yeah, literally. There's one thing I tell people that, like, especially with Tom Brady, like. You could literally just stare at him, and people get a fucking flag. Mm -hmm. I felt that when he was playing. So I'm glad he's fucking retired now. Like, <laughs> like yeah, he's the greatest quarterback, you know, and everything. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. just, like, him getting, or, like, he causes fights and doesn't get flagged, but somebody else starts something with them, they get flagged. And I'm like, you gotta yeah. shit. That'd be crazy if he came back again. Oh, no. <laughs> I, would I would literally just He's die. retired, like, twice already. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would, like, I would just jump off at this point. Good old Brady. Oh, dude, I, I, I miss Brady. I miss Brady. I just, I don't know why. I just like Brady. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at least he was smart, unlike Rodgers. That's the only thing I hate about Rodgers. I hate to take a pay cut like Brady mm -hmm. to get the players he needed mm -hmm. at Green Bay. But guess what? He goes to the Jets. Now he takes a now fucking he takes pay cut. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm like, I was just like, <sighs> I was like, I, Jordan Love, it's your time to shine, bro. Mm -hmm. I have faith in him, though. He looked promising yesterday when I was watching uh, the preseason. He started the first, I think, quarter, maybe quarter and a half, and some of his throws... Very good. Yeah, you know, like yeah. Aaron Rodgers-type throws on top of uh, him, reading the needle and stuff, and I'm like, yeah. he learned from the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I, I have hope in Kyler Murray this year. I, oh, yeah, yeah. Please... Please just. He was out for so long. I know he was out and his then, ACL. Mm -hmm. And then God. he's gonna be out for a little bit for the first couple of weeks. It's crazy too, cause like I thought Kyler Murray was the shortest guy in the NFL, but now the now rookies, it's Bryce Young. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I think him or. He's like, uh, is he like five nine or five eight or something? No, I think the shortest one's that running back, the rookie from Kansas State that went to the Cowboys. He's like five five <gasps> five six. Yeah, him. Yeah, I had seen pictures of him next to all the other he guys. He looks the, tiny. Yeah, I was like. What the? 
Yeah, yeah, but he can freaking like he can run. He, he can, can block run. and run and everything. Mm-hmm. Like, man, that dude's insane. Uh huh. He's like a, a little Tasmanian devil. What's his name? Mm-hmm. Deuce Vaughn. That's his name. Yeah. Uh, remember Taz? Mm, yeah. Because <laughs> we had a guy on our football team when we were freshmen. He was like mm-hmm. a senior, mm-hmm. and we would all call him Taz, like Tasmanian devil, because he was like, <laughs> he was like tiny but mighty. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was cool, but. I'm excited for like Kyler Murray this year, please. Mm-hmm. Just second round. Like, dude, <laughs> That's dude, all I ask, dude. Don't, Just it's like don't do the thing where don't do the, the card don't do the Cardinals thing, yeah. <laughs> please. For the love of God, I've had enough of it. I've had enough. I think all Arizona sports has had enough of them choking and not making the playoffs. Yeah, like the Sun. And then that Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I even wanted the Cardinals to win that year against the Steelers, and then. <laughs> Seeing um Santonio Holmes with that toe tip, I was just like, you guys are kidding me. It it's been rough being a Cardinals fan yeah. for the past like fifty years. <laughs> Same for Green Bay. I'm just like, man. It's been tough. It's been tough, man. Yeah. God, but like, Holmes is doing amazing. Oh, yeah. You can't like. It's like impossible I, to tell. Like, I like, like him. Yeah, he's going I like crazy. him, but he's just God. He's he's so good. He's so good. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like that Tom Brady effect. He's so good, but like it's, it's hard to not like him. It's hard, yeah. and then because he's such a nice guy. Oh yeah. So it's like, damn it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's no reason to hate him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's just so good. Oh, yeah. And then uh, what's his name? Josh Allen. Oh, Josh, Josh Allen. Josh Allen. Oh, oh, I'm God. excited to see what he does. Man, oh, me yeah. too. Him and Rodgers against each other week one. Mm-hmm. The Jets and the Bills. Bills. That's going to be a good oh, yeah. game. Yeah. I saw that. I'm like, <sighs> I still think the Jets lose. But <laughs> yeah. but then again, the Jets, are, like I said, are kind of getting better. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. And it's well, funny, too, because my license plate says Jets on it. So <laughs> everyone's at first, when they saw that, thought I'm a Jets fan. And I'm like, no, no I'm not- talking about Jets as in fighter jets. <laughs> I'm talking about airplanes here. I'm not mm-hmm. talking about the New York Jets. You got to put like a jet on there. Like, yeah, specifically. put a jet on it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, yeah, but it was good right. crap. But well, it's fine. What's your, what's your very early Super Bowl <laughs> prediction? <laughs> <laughs> I hope the Chiefs don't go again. It's all right. They went two no, times. Yeah, they went two times twice already. in a row. Sorry, no, three times. times. It was like three oh, times. Oh yeah, three times. I was like, okay, let's not do this Patriots thing again. Yeah. Let's not do this again, please. I don't want it to be all right. Who's gonna be going against the Chiefs this yeah. Super Bowl? <laughs> I kind of could see a rematch of the last one, with of the, the Chiefs and the Eagles. Eagles. I think may- maybe that would be crazy. Yeah. yeah, that would be crazy. I mean, shit, the Eagles picked up, like, what, five, six guys, all from Georgia? Uh, oh, yeah, J- Jalen Hurts was a crazy dude, Jaylen, player. Bro, he went crazy oh, that yeah. Super Bowl. Oh, dude, he's, he's going to be, he's going to be, he's going to win the Super Bowl in the future, yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I did hear that Larry Fitzgerald, he he would play one game uh-huh. if we made it to the Super Bowl in time. Damn. That would be cool. He would sign a one-game yeah. contract, and Damn, it would be that. Man, if we do that, he... I hope so. Really. Larry deserves his ring. Larry mm-hmm. deserves. Like, I don't know anyone insane. in the Super Bowl. I mean, NFL. He deserves a ring. Yeah. yeah. Like, come on, Larry Fitzgerald, like mm-hmm. second greatest like wide receiver of yeah, all time. I even went yeah. to two Cardinals camps with uh, my friend Eric. Really. Like a few years ago, and like, er- like all I see is a sea of red, white, red and white, <laughs> and they like the black jerseys that you guys have. Mm-hmm. And I was the only guy in Packers gear. I literally went in my Packers gear Damn. and just to be like, yeah, I'm in enemy territory. What are you guys going to do? And shit, you know? Nobody cared. I mean, Cardinals fans are like the nicest people ever. Like, mm-hmm. when I had gone... We've um, been through a lot, so we just... Yeah. We have to stay humble. <laughs> yeah. We, ha- we have to stay <laughs> like, humble. There's always no fighting. And, <laughs> there's yeah. like, oh, yeah, well... Never mind, you beat us that one time. Like, <laughs> yeah, and I always, it's funny, too. I always roast him because he, um, he likes to give me shit about the Packers, but just for fun... And all I had to bring up is how many Super Bowls you guys have. Yeah. <laughs> and, they're just, and he's just like, God damn it. <laughs> that hurts. And I'm just that like, hurts even me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, the Packers have like 13 titles. But everyone really? doesn't like to claim the early games when the NFL first started. That mm. only the Super Bowl era counts. And I'm like, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> so if they counted every era, the Packers would have the most titles. Yeah. yeah. But they only count our four. And mm. the, where's it, four or three? Wait, I think it's four. <laughs> yeah, four, because we yeah. won the first two Super Bowls. Then we won 38 and then 40s. Or no, I can't remember what that mm. was. Yeah. Yeah, I remember like the Eagles and Chiefs. That was so random. 
I was <laughs> like, when when did the Eagles get good? Yeah, yeah. Like, for me, I was like, wait, what? Like, when did the Eagles? Like, mm-hmm. how did what? How did that happen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, those Eagles, <laughs> they're just surprising everyone. I'm like, damn it. Yeah. And coincidentally, one of the guys I work with at a Mark, any Eagles fan, I'm like, God. <laughs> but then yeah. I had two guys that sit sat right be, um, between, because I sat in the middle between them, both Vikings fans. And I'm like, oh, wow. Ooh. So they're always giving me crap when the Packers and Vikings play. I'm like, yo, better shut the fuck up. <laughs> we, we, we have a friend in the Army who's a crazy Cowboys fan. We, we used yeah, to oh make my fun God, of him all dude. the time. Oh, my God. <laughs> How about them he's, boys? He's gonna, yeah. Everyone is going to know what we're talking about. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. How like, about them Cowboys? Yeah. We used to always go back and forth about the Cardinals and Cowboys. And then I remember whenever we absolutely just destroyed them. Yeah. 38 to 10. 38 to 10. That was amazing mm-hmm. to yeah. watch that game because it would be like touchdown, 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 touchdown. Yeah. touchdown. Yeah. And For like the be, next couple months, it was yeah. just 38 to 10, 38 like to 10. Every time we would get an argument with this guy, we would, the quickest way which we would shut him up is 38 to 10. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was <laughs> so funny. We, be, we still would use it like yeah. to this day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like just 30 to 10. The one person I always loved giving shit about the Cowboys when they lose is um Stephen A. Smith. Every morning on ESPN, <laughs> the morning after Sunday when the Cowboys lose, he's like, how about, about the Cowboys? <laughs> and just laughing his ass off. It's the funniest shit ever. It's funny, And well, he's a Rodgers fan, too, so I remember him and his, mm. Aaron Rodgers is uh. a bad man. <laughs> uh, I remember, uh, what was it? I think it was Coach Long. Hmm. He made a bet with... Oh with Kevin Yubata. Okay. I remember and it was like against the 49ers cuz they're like their family the oh, 49ers yeah, fans. Oh, the 49ers fans. And it was like a big game. Yeah. I think it was like a really big game. Mm-hmm. And then it was like whoever like won or lost like the other player had to wear that team. Yeah. So I didn't know who won, like, because I didn't watch that game. Mm-hmm. I just remember coming to school and I just see Coach Long in 49ers gear oh, and wow. everything. And I was like, He was just disappointed. Oh, he was so. I, I was like, <laughs> That's gotta hurt, dude. I was like, Ooh. I was like, Here, here's some tissues for your tears. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> oh, I just, oh, cowboys. Just, you're yeah. fat. Like, it's like, of course you are. <laughs> it's like, of course you are. Like, of course you're a fan of the Cowboys. And there's so many other teams, but you choose the Cowboys. The Cowboys. Yeah. There's something else I had to bring up about the pick, actually. Uh, oh, um, another thing that Bruce told me that apparently, and I'm not saying this to scare our team, because I'm pretty sure they'll do good this year, too, but... Uh-huh. Um, he told me apparently Bisbee's football team this year is much better than last year. As oh, far shit. as he's seen, so I'm just like... Yeah, I don't believe it! I was like, can't believe <laughs> it until we see it. Can't believe it until we see like, it. I know Douglas is going to put up a good fight still. Yeah. And it's I'm, all, it's I'm, I'm confident such a good that they game. can win. But, you know, they can't just they can't play let their guard down at all. Because mm-hmm. Bisbee can probably still come out and show off something. And that goes for every almost every game, too. Yeah, like... Yeah, we just they're just gonna, they just have to be very focused very in. Focused, yeah. It was very focused in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't don't cause too many penalties. I remember one yeah. story I'll say right now, but yeah, it's like <laughs> I remember. Okay, so it was the pick last year, right? Oh, okay. And I was in line, and I was like right behind two players. Mm-hmm. I ain't, I'm not gonna mention the names, but I was behind two players, and they were both like trying to hype themselves up. And then, like, I just hear one of them say, oh, I haven't jerked off in weeks. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm just like, wait, yeah. what? Like, wait like, like, a minute. What the fuck? <laughs> like, what did you say? Man. I'll tell you after who it was. Because yeah. oh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, wait. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, I said, wait a minute. <laughs> no, yeah, it was... It was just a funny story. I remember Bisbee locker rooms. Remember their locker rooms? Yeah, yeah. It was so. It's so have you ever been in there? The Bisbee I locker think rooms. So, yeah. It is so dirty. Mm-hmm. It's so different it's compared to ours. So oh. dirty, like, e- and especially because we had white uniforms. Oh um, yeah. And <laughs> if you, even like if you're like if they were barely on the floor, mm-hmm. you look like you would like you look like. You were like at a full game. Mm-hmm. Oh, like you look like you just got out of a full game. Like, yeah. As soon like, boom, brown. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, they were so dirty. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's that's shade. 
Fucking clean so, your locker rooms, sorry, Bisbee. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty ass locker rooms, dude. I love that rivalry, dude. I oh, I mm-hmm. I love it. It's awesome. It's yeah. like I think it's, the, it's like the second oldest. Yeah, second oldest. And I don't know if this year's the like 153rd meeting or something. Uh-huh. And I'm like, damn, 153 already. Like, Jesus Christ. It's crazy, dude. I I just I love it. Like, especially when I like the like the week leading up to it. Yeah. People are like, they put the jerseys on yeah, the statues over there. Yeah, everything's yeah. a just big troll. Yeah. <laughs> It's just a big troll, mm-hmm. and then they left like the stuff at. They left some message at our school last year, and then we burned it. <laughs> yeah, burned. yeah, yeah. I re- oh, I remember last year they burned a, a bulldog that had like a shirt with all of our names and numbers on it. That Damn. was crazy. I remember. That. We were in that fire. Yeah. That was a little uh, okay. That was that's crazy. <laughs> that was a little uh, okay. That's kind of it's just weird. Our I names were on that, and they just burned it. <laughs> they just burned it. <laughs> that sucks. We're not gonna be a part of that anymore. God damn! I, you know, give us. No, I don't want to be back in high school. It's like that. all that Bisbee tried to do, and guess what? You guys still lost. Mm-hmm. It's like mm. yeah, I, I hope we win again. Oh, I yeah, to have to pick three years in a row. Yeah, that would be insane. I mm-hmm. mean, I don't even know when was the last time Douglas won three years or more in a row. I know. Mm-hmm. It might have been a while, but I, yeah. I, like yeah. I said, I have faith for the guys. I well, do. I'm watching the first faith. game for sure. It's going to be up in Phoenix. and mm. That's, oh man, just a four-hour drive and into play. Oof. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> be. Uh, so we played a game last year in Phoenix. And I, did you hear of it? The Carl Hayden. Uh, Carl, yeah. The Carl shooting. Hayden shooting. Yeah, for some of you that don't know, uh, there was a football game last year that w- it was up in Phoenix, and there was a shooting in the middle of the game. Yeah. More, more towards the end. And, uh, yeah, that was... That, that's happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was crazy. Were you there? No, I wasn't. Or? I heard about it, but, you know, I was saying, like, on the bright side, people were all right. <laughs> Nobody got hurt. Nobody yeah, got... it was yeah. crazy, because I just remember... Like boom, 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 and, the, and we're, everyone just like, huh? <laughs> boom, 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 off, get the, get down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it was insane because people were just running. The Carl Hayden side, they were just getting the fuck out. Of here. Yeah. It was crazy. Carl Hayden used to all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I remember I told you some guy. He was like, he got his helmet, he threw it on the ground. Oh yeah, he's like, fuck, yeah. like it's like it's a daily occurrence <laughs> or something. <laughs> it was okay. I was I. Mm, I, it was like I'm kind of like we. It's kind of weird that I kind of like experienced that. Yeah. I'm kind of glad so I could tell my kids like uh-huh. I was at a shooting in the middle of a game. <laughs> it was a football game. It's like hell yeah, boss. <laughs> there, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So you better eat your vegetables. <laughs> eat your vegetables. <laughs> Were you in a shooting at a football game? <laughs> I don't think, think so. so. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember because even my my media arts teacher was there too, oh. and it was just. And then the oh god our our mascot oh <laughs> Spike <my laughs> poor guy oh I feel so, I felt oh I felt the most bad for him because I just remember looking over and just, you just see Spike on the floor <laughs> <laughs> just imagine that just imagine that a big ass Spike yeah. bulldog <laughs> just mm-hmm. on the floor <laughs> mm-hmm. and I remember he was like because the all because the, the cheerleaders. They like went. They're like some of the second group to go in, mm-hmm. and I just remember all of them were like lined up, and you just see the back, the the guy that played Spike, all sweaty. He looked oh, so God. miserable, That's dude. Really he was just like, I can imagine being in that costume. It's like <laughs> 80, 90 some degrees. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. It was crazy, dude. It was crazy. Oh, man. Good times. Mm-hmm. Good times, man. <laughs> I think nothing like that happened. No, I think the craziest thing that happened. With us in cross country, um, we went out for a practice with my coach, and cause our course used to be out on the by the border fence, mm-hmm. and um, there was one was it during cross country or track? Actually, it was during track. We went out to go just do a long distance run, and um, next thing you know, some illegals pop out from a bush, <laughs> and all of a sudden, and after that, a bunch of shit ton of border patrol vehicles come out of nowhere. <laughs> one of them literally ramps a hill. And then, Damn. like, literally drifts, pulls to the side, puts the thing in park, the agent um, got out of the car, and it was a poor little lady trying to run, and he tackled the shit out of the lady. <laughs> My coach got so terrified, she's like, everyone, back in the van, no! Yeah. And we all get in, and we all Jesus take off. And, Christ. and then there was one fucking illegal that was trying to hide behind a bush, and it wasn't even a big bush, Ooh. so 
he spotted him right away, and I was just like, what a fucking clown. <laughs> you know, and like, I know most illegals, you know, they're trying to escape mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Mexico to come for a better life, and I see those comments that, oh, all legals are bad. I'm like, they're not all fucking bad. Yeah, they're, they're not. Just, they're just trying to live their they're life. Just, yeah, they're trying, trying to get a better life. Probably, and I know some are probably trying to escape, like, um, all the uh, cartels and stuff too. But, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, because my dad was w working near the fence, mm -hmm. the gate, and what's I forget what it's called. Yeah. Yeah, what? yeah, yeah, he was working <laughs> yeah. near there, and he and just a bunch of legals were just jumping the fence, oh. the fence, and he was just like he was taking a video, <laughs> <laughs> and then he showed us. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was, that was um, crazy. Like a month, two months ago, I went out to the mountains west of Rio Rico for the first time because there's like a ghost town that's out there that I've never been to. And um, I was with my parents in their truck. And um, next thing you know, a guy calls out for us and he spoke strictly Spanish. He didn't speak any English. Mm -hmm. So, And I actually don't speak Spanish myself or understand. I mean, I understand a little and mm -hmm. I can read it fluently. I just don't know what I'm reading or whatever. But anyway, mm -hmm. um. So the guy calls us out, my dad um, stops and reverses, and me and my mom are both terrified, and we're like, what are you doing and stuff, and <laughs> well, he, he didn't care, so he stops, and the guy was nice and everything, and he was telling my dad in Spanish that he needs help, he needs water, and he needs to get um, picked up or rescued or whatever, mm -hmm. and he's to, if we see a border patrol agent, to um, call, let them know where the, that guy was at, he was by this one-lane one bridge, and so my dad said okay and we drive off and then me and my mom telling him like you know he probably could have had a gun and probably shot us mm -hmm. <laughs> or whatever and i mean thankful god he didn't and so, yeah um so then we drove a mile after where he was at a border patrol agent's coming the other way my dad's waiting in downtown to stop the agent just drives right by us and i'm like yeah. damn and i'm like that could have been his help right there <laughs> No. Yeah. But then later on in the day, we get to a checkpoint near um, or between Aravaca and I-19, and we tell them like, "Oh, this is an illegal that's in this area by this one-lane bridge and stuff." And I don't think they were gonna help him. Oh, mm -hmm. they they just said, "Oh yeah, we'll see what we can do." <laughs> and I know they weren't being serious. I'm mm -hmm. like a bunch of assholes. Yeah. Like I mean, if I had, if I was like, if I had, we had water, we probably could have given him some at least. Mm -hmm. Because I know at that day it was like stupid. Yeah, because I, I remember I was, uh, my, my media arts teacher, she had, like, an opportunity for us to go out and those, because there was this guy that was from Douglas, mm -hmm. but he, like, made it into Hollywood, oh. and he was making a movie about, like, illegals, immigrants, and mm -hmm. stuff, and uh, we were out, and, and so, you know, I volunteered to go out there, and uh, it was crazy. It was, like, the way they were filming everything. Mm -hmm. I had to carry this big-ass camera. <laughs> it was, like, dude, it was, like, like $400,000. Oh, yeah. And I was carrying it, oh, <laughs> and, and if I dropped it... That's a lot of pressure. I, I was done. <laughs> I was, it was, it was so... Debt for it was, years. Yeah, it was crazy, but it was, it was really fun, like, to see, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was crazy, man. Yeah. Crazy times. Crazy times. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I have any more questions, man. Uh, well, what made you agree to come on the uh, podcast? Well, <laughs> I just never been on one, so I was yeah, like, this would be cool. Why? Why? Why, why, why would you do that? <laughs> also, you know, a chance for people who don't know who I am. Mm -hmm. Again, my face. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> you know, because I know a lot of people are like, Still trying to figure out who the hell been the mystery guy taking their photos at all. Oh, uh, whatever. You just scroll a little bit on your Instagram. Boom, there you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally, like, I have, like, I think two or three photos of me, like, self-portraits of me. Mm -hmm. And then there's my Halloween one where I'm just, like, marshmallow. I mean, I love um, uh, really? music. It's my favorite music. Huh. Really? Like, That's I hope to go to, like, raves and stuff in the future. Like, That'd EDC, awesome. Las cool. Vegas, and... That's really I know cool. a lot of people are like, oh, it's just um, robot music. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> like, so that's just, say that to my fucking face and see what happens. You know? <laughs> but, yeah, like, everyone thinks, or I had a, one friend, well, we're not friends anymore, you know, but um, mm -hmm. she she absolutely hated um, EDM, and she told me that it's only club music, and I'm like, no, fuck, it's not. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? I was like, what EDM? I mean, maybe some EDM sounds like club music, but there's some that aren't, and like, 
Man. There's like different genres. Like, EDM is a genre in general, but then you need a sub genre. Like, like how rock is, like yeah, rock yeah. and then mm-hmm. or like rap. Like, so like EDM, you have like, I mean, my favorite two would be um, dubstep and um, melodic bass. Man, melodic bass, mm. that shit goes hard. Like the vocals from, for the people that have seen, and then when the beat drops, like, it's freaking amazing. Like, God. That's like, crazy. That's awesome, man. Well, I don't think I have any more questions. I got everything out I wanted to. Do you have any more questions? I can't think of any. No? Uh, well, before we end the podcast, um, this is free space. You can promote anything you want right now. It's it's, it's on you now. <laughs> you can promote uh, you, anything you want. Yeah, you can like, plug, uh, plug your yeah, Instagram. Yeah, plug anything, anything. Just anything yeah. you have in the future that you're working on. Literally anything. I mean... All I gotta say is, you know, if you guys want to see my photos, to go on to my Instagram, Melendo Photography, and um, I do, I will be going to all sporting events, including swim, volleyball, and golf. Mm-hmm. And because that's since I missed out on them last year. There you go. Bad. So, I mean, golf's gonna be kind of hard because I know golf, you know, it's supposed to be like quiet when they're about to hit the ball, and all they're gonna hear is my camera shutter going <laughs> off. And I'll like, Loud click. Like, yeah, like click, 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 as my camera's going off. I'm like, son of a bitch. But, uh, yeah, so I have that. And, um, I am gonna be going to the, uh, we call it the tailgate for the pick. Oh, yeah. Because uh, yeah, yeah. at first, I knew there was gonna be one, but I was like, should I go to that? Then. So I put that poll on my story the other day, and like 23 people put yes and zero no. So I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'm going to the, um, the, uh, the field meeting right. too. Mm-hmm. That'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, get hyped and dance and yeah. shit before uh-huh. the game. I was like, come on, guys, let's get motivated. It's like, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I remember that walk into, like, for the pick. That was a crazy walk. Yeah. That's going to be all hype. Yeah. Like, let's go, boys. Let's go. Uh, well... That's all I got. Uh, thank you so much for coming on, oh, man. Yeah. Ricky Melendez. Mm-hmm. Uh, follow his Instagram. Um, thank you so much for coming on, man. Oh, yeah. yeah really course. appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This was fun. Yeah. And uh, thank you for listening uh, to Keeping It One Hondo. We're on Spotify. You, well, if you're watching this on YouTube, you got it on YouTube. <laughs> uh, subscribe. Leave a like. And um, thank you. Goodbye. 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 <laughs>